Hey guys, how you going? Uh, today I wanted to just do something a little different. I um, I received this in the mail the other day and I just wanted to talk about it. I, I believe I know what it is. So I'm going to open this up and um, we'll have a look at what's inside and I'll talk a little bit about why I bought this and why it's so important. So I've got my scissors here. Now when I bought this, it came from the States and the one thing that I was it was a little expensive with the shipping charges and everything, and I was a little bit scared about how it was going to get here. Um, and I contacted the person that made it, and they told me that they'd never had a problem, and I can see why. Like, this is incredible. I almost don't want to do this. Because I don't want to... That's it. Oh, look at that. Doubles over. Oh, wow. Okay, now I know that there's been a lot of people that have recently just received their Cyberfrog um, Unforgettable Tales. Now, I finally got my copy of Blood Honey, which is awesome. I bought, his, I bought uh, Ethan's pack that he has on, um, on, uh, on eBay, on his eBay store. So go check that out. I'll uh, put the link in the description. Uh, so I got a couple of other little bits and pieces in here. Well, let's open it up and have a look I should get another one and just keep it in the wrapping, eh? Oh, no, there it is. There's all the stuff. They got the bumper sticker and some of the cards and stuff It's man, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time now the reason why I probably will get unforgettable tales um, just because of exactly what I'm about to explain basically um I found the Phantom Menace, of course, through uh, Ethan, Jeremy, and Jeff. World-class bullshitters, Ethan, uh, and, and Jeremy. So I, I, I was introduced to the Phantom Menace through that. Uh, by default, essentially, introduced to Comicscape, but I was never into comics that much. I haven't held a comic in my hand for over 20 years. Um... Comics were the books that I used to love reading, but man, I haven't had a comic book in my hand for ages. Um, that looks incredible. That looks incredible. It really does. Oh man, I'm so excited to read this. Um, the, the point that I'm trying to make in regards to The Phantom Menace though, is it's interesting. I was thinking about it today, and funnily enough, Demoj and I, um, shout out to him, he just dropped a video the other day, uh, it says four days ago, but I got the notification today, it was really weird. Anyway, I watched his video and he was talking about, he was talking about Phantom Menace and Comics Gate and stuff like that, and I kind of had this uh, epiphany, and uh, I kind of started seeing how Comics Gate is the uh, Phantom Menace for the comic book um, industry, basically. They're the ones fighting the good fight, really. So, I, I, with all the stuff that happened with Cecil's um, cover, with um, Vampirella and Red Sonja, with, with everything that happened with that, I, I decided to... I, I went, fuck it. I ended up backing Ethan on Cyberfrog Wreck Planet. Um, I backed John Malin on Graveyard Shift 3. Uh, which I can't wait for because I got my special perk with that. I signed up to his emailing list, so uh, that was really cool. Uh, and I also back Cecil, of course. Um, the, the reason why I feel that this is so important is because everything that we've loved, everything that I've loved ever since, that I, was, ever since I was a kid, like uh, Star Wars, bits of Star Trek, yeah. Um, but, like, I, I see... I'm not, I've never been a big Doctor Who fan. I, I see how Gary... Uh, Gary Nerd Roddick talks about Doctor Who and how, how his emotion... Like, the, the, the problem is with these fandoms is that they're starting to destroy it through identity politics and wokeness and all of this other garbage. And the only people that are actually keeping it alive are people like Ethan, people like Cecil, people like John Malin. Now, they're the main ones that I know. I know there's a lot of people within Comicsgate and they're all great artists and everything. The other difference, too, between sort of the fandom menace and the and the and Comicsgate is that Phantom Menace can't go out and just make their own movies. It's very hard to do that. In this case, it's very, well, not very easy, but it's a lot easier for these creators with great ideas and great people uh, coming out and creating 
stuff like this escapist entertainment and that's where i'm going with all of this this is to me this is the future of geek culture is through comic skate through the phantom menace it's the everybody else is just destroying it even charles agrees so that's that's all i really wanted to say i'm also going to just chuck the links for all of those indiegogos uh in the description below so if you're interested in any of those campaigns go and check them out even if you're not interested in them just go and back them it's not that much uh if you can afford it of course i know it's tough times but uh if you can just back them um these guys are doing great work and they're there for us. They really are. And like I said, I can't wait to get get into this. I really, really can't. And again, I can't believe how well they're packed. Like, I can sit here and I can, you know, give this a bit of a shake. And it's not bending or anything. Um, man, fantastic. Fantastic. The cats are all over the place here. They love it. Um, anyway, just so, again, a big thank you to... Ethan, man, thank you so much for, for staying strong, not bending the knee to the crap and the, the shit that goes on and the shit that you cop for it. Fantastic. Well done and thank you. Um, Cecil, John, all, all of you guys, in everyone in Comicsgate, hail. Thank you and hail. Well done. Keep going and I'll keep backing. So that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you very much. I know it was a bit of a different video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've got my next um, video coming out on Ray, which is part of the Disney Star Wars continuity. Um, so check that out, and I'll see you in the next one.